Hello everybody, this is my very first screencast on Linux, so forgive me if it's shitty, but this screencast, as you can tell by the title, is going to teach you how to use the NDIS wrapper tool, which, which allows you to install Windows wireless drivers inside of Linux. Now, obviously you're going to need a Windows wireless driver first, as well as the NDIS wrapper tool. So in order to get the NDIS wrapper tool, you're going to open up the Ubuntu Software Center. So I'm going to wait for the Ubuntu Software Center to open up here. Once the Ubuntu Software Center is open up, you can search Windows Wireless Drivers, and you should see the NDIS Wrapper Driver Installation Tool pop up. You can see here I already have it installed. Once you have it installed, you're going to need to find your Windows Wireless Driver. Now, I found this awesome page on About.com that shows you the latest Windows 7 drivers for a lot of computer companies and motherboard models. Now, I have a Gateway computer, so I went and downloaded the latest wireless driver for my model of my Gateway laptop that I'm using. So you do the same, say if you have like a Dell desktop or a different version of a Gateway laptop, or you can just go straight to the manufacturer's website and find your computer and download their driver that they're providing on their website. Anyway, once you have the driver, you're going to want to extract it somewhere you can easily access it. You can see here, when I go into my downloads, I have the Broadcom 5.100.82.95 driver. Now, you can see here there's a whole bunch of files, and this can get, this is the part where people get confused. Now, you're going to want to open up the Windows Wireless Drivers tool, and it's going to prompt you to enter your administrative password. So, I'm going to do so, and Windows Wireless Drivers is going to pop up. Now, you can see here that I already have the wi Windows Wireless Driver installed. So, you're going to want to go over here to Install New Driver. And as you can see here, the instructions say select the INF file. So you're going to want to go to your file system, go to your home directory, and go to where you extracted the file. For me, that would be downloads. And as you can see here, right here, is the bcmwl6.inf driver. Now, once you select that, it will install the Windows Wireless driver, and you should have it. And if it's the correct driver, it'll say hardware present, yes or no. If it says no, you have the wrong driver, and you should probably remove it. And if you want to ever configure your network, I recommend using this tool instead of going up here and configuring the network that way. Now you can go ahead and close it out now. Now just another heads up before you finish out the tutorial and everything's all good. If you have the Linux equivalent of your driver installed from the additional drivers tool, which I can go over here and I'm going to show you, it's going to search for additional drivers. And as you can see here, I do not have the Broadcom SD wireless driver for Linux installed. Now, if you have this driver installed or whatever version of your wireless or Ethernet driver you have installed, remove it. Make sure you remove it because the Linux driver and the Windows driver will conflict with each other. Just keep that in mind. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. Please comment and rate. Tell me what you think of my first screencast. And I hope you guys enjoy using a better internet browsing experience because the Windows wireless drivers, in my opinion, work better than the Linux wireless drivers. Same goes for the wire drivers. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment and rate. As I said, see you later.